I think it's wonderful that we experience relationships that fail here and there because we get to know ourselves. But what's more important is casually dating people. And I don't mean casual sex, but if you want to take it there, by all means, that's your prerogative and I really don't care. But casually dating enough people who come closer and closer to what's on your list to where you finally meet someone that goes from dating a couple of times a month to a couple of times a week to almost every day to being in a committed relationship because relationships should have a pattern and they should have a process that they go through. They shouldn't go from meeting someone to moving in. It's like there is a real logical pattern to the way that people have to grow together and skipping steps along that path is detrimental for the longevity of that relationship. If you try to move too fast, if you move too slow, and this sounds so complicated, but being honest with yourself from the beginning and honest with other people, it's gonna make it a lot easier. So women, you're on a date with a man, and he says, you know, I'm really not looking for a relationship. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> this should be your first clue that you need to look on your list. Hmm. Did I put that I wanted a relationship? Oh, yeah, I did. Hmm. What should be your answer to what he just said? It should be, I was really hoping that I would be dating someone that would be interested in making a long-term commitment. And my goal right now is to date people to try to find out if I match with anyone because actually I am looking for a committed long-term relationship at this point in my life. But I think this is wonderful. We can continue the date. Like there should definitely be a conversation when you're dating someone, going on a date, your first date, where you're getting to know each other. It shouldn't be awkward and weird, especially if you're an adult. There's a purpose for the date. It's either I'm going out with you because I want to fuck. I'm going out with you because I want to learn more about myself. I'm going out with you because I'm trying to get my mind off my ex. I'm going out with you because I'm trying to learn more about so many different people that it educates me on who I need to be with because every time I go on a date, I check off things on a list like, you know what, I really don't like people who... But without experiencing those people, you're not going to be able to really check anything off. So instead of saying, oh, you don't want a relationship. You know what? Neither do I. Okay. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to that person. So what's going to happen when you guys get together? If you constantly lie and pretend like it's okay to have casual sex with this guy, and then you put expectations on him to try to get him to date you exclusively, you're in the wrong. Because you knew going into this, he wasn't looking for a relationship. He's not just saying that. He's not just saying that to lure you in because he knows you're going to be thinking he's mysterious now that he doesn't want a relationship. He's such a challenge. There are some guys who use stupid dating tactics. One of my friends is probably going to be mad that I'm saying that, but I have a friend that also has a relationship channel for guys, but there are guys who use tricks and tactics to talk to women. But a lot of times guys really do want to be honest with what they're looking for. It's one thing to use tricks to be able to open up to women or to get them to open up to you and to break the ice and actually get on a date, but it's another thing to lie. And I think a lot of men truly do want to meet someone. They truly do want to meet someone who really matches with them and they do want to have relationships. But the reason why it seems like they don't is because men, for some reason, have more of a logical thought process when it goes into meeting somebody that matches with them. So a lot of times they're honest with themselves. They're not ready for a relationship, whether it's financially or psychologically or emotionally, then they usually tell a girl that because they don't want her to get the expectations in her mind that he's going to be settling down and getting married. And I wish that a lot of more women would be confident telling people the truth about what they're looking for. So I think a great way to go about dating is to date on dating sites. And it sounds crazy. It sounds like that's a taboo and I don't recommend Facebook. I don't recommend Instagram for meeting a partner. There's not enough to gain there as there is to gain from match.com or OkCupid. OkCupid is where I met my boyfriend and I would love to do a whole video on OkCupid and how it works. But briefly, 
I just want to explain that when you sign up, it's free. You can do a paid version too, but I did the free one. It's fine. And I think I heard for men, it's better for the paid. I don't really know. We can get into more of that when I do the video, but bottom line is you answer a lot of questions. And if you're serious about finding someone, you fill in what your objective is. So if your objective is to go on there to meet friends, then you're going to write that in. If your objective is to have casual sex, you're going to write that in. If your objective is to get married in the next five years, you're going to write that in. If you're being honest with yourself, because there are a lot of people out there who are looking for exactly what you're looking for. But if you're lying, you guys are never going to match. You're never going to match up. So you're honest. You answer like the 200 questions. It sounds a little bit overwhelming, but they're pretty much multiple choice. And then what the system does conveniently is it matches you with people who answered those same questions with the exact same answers. So I think like the choices are like, yes, no, and maybe, I don't know, something like that. So you'll match 50% or 60% or 70% or whatever. And for example, if I answered yes on, do I vote? So it's just an example. And the other person answered sometimes you may still match with them in some kind of way because sometimes and yes are similar. Do you see where I'm going with this? But if they blatantly say no, and your answer is yes to that particular question, then that's going to become a negative and you guys aren't going to match up as well. So it's a great barometer and it's a great guide to people you should be talking to and, and people you should be weeding out. And then even when I would match with someone at like a 60%, I wouldn't just leave it to the computer to tell me I match. I would read their bio. I would read their profile about what they want to do, why they're there. Do they have a good personality? What are their pictures like? Do I think I would be attracted to them? But I wouldn't discount them just because they don't have the exact look that I feel like I'm attracted to. Case in point, I wasn't sure I would be attracted to my boyfriend, but we matched at a 98%. That was the highest match I'd ever seen. And when I started reading through the questions and seeing all the ways he answered them, because you can match someone at a 70%, but then you start reading their answers and you realize, okay, they said, yes, they do drugs. I'm not really into drugs. So you have to see which ones you didn't match on because if they're anything about morals or beliefs and you guys don't match on those, then I would caution you to think you guys are going to be successful in a relationship together. Cause some of those things are very, very hard to overcome. So why even put the pressure on yourself when there's 10 other matches that might work out better for you? So I think you guys see where I'm going with this. It's dating with a purpose. It's dating with a list of things that you know, you must have. The more you get to know yourself, you're going to know what fits with you. You really, really are. And instead of leaving it to chance, Get confident enough to be honest with you and with others about what it is you really want. And don't be afraid because there's somebody out there looking for the same thing. So I encourage you to make a list and find out what it is that you truly want and start going after it and start weeding out and saying no to people who don't meet those characteristics. You'll be a lot happier in the end. There's going to be a lot more of these videos. This was just the beginning and I really hope you like it. I know it's a little bit of a different direction. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.